friends welcome back to Anna nail school english channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to do acrylic extensions so if you're a beginner this video is just for you so watch till the end and if you're visiting our channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so now let's begin with the video first let's have a look at the client's nail so this one i wanted to specifically show you because if you see the middle finger has like a slight slightly um, uh, crooked fingers right so it's not like totally straight it has a crooked uh, angle so i'm going to show you how to apply tips on such nails as well so let's begin with the first step which is pushing back the cuticle so i'm using an orange wood stick to push back the cuticle so just be gentle some people may have like really tight cuticle area so you have to go step by step be very gentle uh, you can also ask the clients in between if you're hurting them okay so don't put too much pressure gently open layer by layer and then eventually you get your uh, cuticle pocket completely open now next step is after pushing back i'm going to use an electric file if you're a beginner and don't know how to use an electric file there will be a video soon on my channel where i'm going to show you how to use a hand file to do the dry manicure so um but still i think i'll just explain so you want to use a 180 grid or if your client has like really thin or damaged nails then you may want to use a 220-240 grit uh, hand file to do the uh, filing and buffing okay so here i am using a uh, flame bit uh, which is a part of uh, diamond bits so i'm using my machine at a 18,000 rpm speed and again if you're a beginner with electric file i don't recommend you to go with 18,000. you can start with 7 8,000, and then eventually you can bring up to the speed of 18 to 20,000 because speed really matters when it comes to electric file manicure okay <clears throat> so yeah here again I, I pushed back i rolled back the uh, epinikim area and then i switched to a hand file here i'm using the one grit, 180 grit side and as you can see i'm gently buffing off the shine from the nail plate so when you're filing here do not put too much pressure just let the file move around and it will file off the shine from the nail plate and once this is done i'm just just gently buffing the edges of the nails just to make sure that we have like a nice round shape before we start with the next process once this is done just dust off clean it with alcohol and lint free wipe our next step is to measure the tip so here i'm using a long curvy square uh, shape tips so this uh, this tip i think this is the uh, biggest tips i have ever seen so as you can see here uh, for the middle finger and the ring finger and the index finger i have to look for seven or eight or nine numbers because rest of the uh, numbers are really big so here i measured all the tips and after that i'm using my hand file just to file down the thickness of the tip so if you're a beginner this step is really helpful for people who are actually starting with extension uh, by uh, cutting down the uh, thickness of the tips at this stage will help you from over filing your nail plate because after attaching the tips we have to again file it and blend it so as you can see here i attached the tip to the nail plate and when you are attaching the tip to the nail plate don't cover the whole nail with your tip you only cover corner to corner okay so if the corners are deep then obviously you are tip will go further inside but if your corners are uh, at the edges then only like 10 percentage of your nails should be covered okay so again i'm applying the glue inside the tip <coughs> and then uh, holding the finger straight and then slightly attaching it so now you can see uh, i only went a little inside with my tip and after this we have to again file and then make it really smooth in fact it should be blended with your uh, nail plate okay so now here comes the crooked finger so for the crooked finger first you have to see where the center of the nail is because after extension it should not look like the nails are looking at a different side and your fingers are going to a different side so here i marked out the center of the finger and then also put a marking on the center of the nail and then i'm going to uh, keep that center as my center point and then i'm going to attach if you want you can also put a center marking on your tip so that you can align both the marking on the tip as well as on the nails and then you can attach your uh, tips uh, without any further difficulties okay so this way we attach the uh, tip on the uh, crooked finger finger as well
after attaching all the tips then uh, we wanted to short down the nails a bit so i'm using a tip cutter and then i'm going to go with like a particular length whatever length the client wanted to keep so you can trim down so here as you can see keep the cutter really straight and then go in one press and break the tip like that okay once this is done then we can use a hand file to just reshape it in case if you want to go for a different shape you can do that so here we are going to do a long square nails only so we don't want to do any further filing but still we take our uh, hand file and just like fine tune the tip just like this way both the corners and the free edge side and other than that you will also buff and blend the edges of the tip where you attached the tip to the nail plate you are going to blend it like this so now remember we already file down the thickness of the tips so we don't have to file too much here and that will help us from over filing the nail plate because the nail plate is already filed okay Now let's see the product. So I'm using Mia Secrets Cover Pink Acrylic Powder, then Mia Secret uh, EMA Monomer. I'm using a Kolinsky brush from the brand called Glamorous Nail Products. I'm also using a tissue to keep the uh, you know a brush clean. And then this particular powder has a shimmery effect. So this is going to be our base. We will not be adding any gel polishes we will only add certain designs so now what i'm doing is i'm applying dehydrator so dehydrator basically cleans up the nails and removes oil moisture from your nail plate and then once that is done you can also apply primer so both these steps are necessary before you put on your product i think i missed the application of uh, primer <coughs> uh, clip here uh, but after dehydrator we apply the primer so now i started applying the product as you can see i picked up a bead and then i uh, put it just uh, uh, where the natural nails ends or where i attached the tip i placed it there and then using the brush i'm patting it down and the excess i'm pulling down towards the free edge okay so why we do this we, we don't apply it as we apply gel polish or nail polishes because we need to maintain a particular thickness okay so now free edge thickness it should not be super thick at the same time it should not be super thin also okay so first bead we are done here and now i'm putting up the second bead right behind the first bead then i moved it slightly side to side and then i'm using the brush to blend it so if you see i keep on cleaning my brush because we don't want uh, extra monomer on our brush so uh, just keep cleaning because the bead is already wet so we don't want uh, you know more monomer going in and then it's just going all over the place so always make sure that your liquid powder ratio is perfect so that you get a perfect consistency bead now it's time for us to apply the third bead which is our cuticle bead cuticle bead is something that everybody struggles with so the trick is you must have a right size bead number two your consistency number three how you are managing your brush while blending it okay so as you can see here the application um, is really smooth we did not get onto the skin the the there is still a hairline gap between the product and the cuticle skin uh, at the same time you also maintain the apex and wherever so once i whenever i apply i always see uh, if I missed anything, if I want a little bit more alignment or something, then I add more products. Okay, so that's it. So application, the better you do the application, your filing shaping that you can reduce a lot of time there. Okay, so here we have almost finished our application and that's how our uh, uh, product or, or overall nails looks like before filing. So as you can see, I'm putting enough time. So I did not speed up the video so that you can see how much time it takes to do. You can also go faster, but uh, since this is a beginner video, we are going slow. Next, let's see the crooked fingers. So we already set up the tips uh, in the right way. So there is nothing much we need to take care of while applying the product. So still I picked up a bead as you can see where I placed the bead. And then now if you see my bead after I release it, it doesn't run. Now, it is still moving, but it is not that it's falling off the nails or anything, right? So that is the right consistency. So once you crack that, then it's very easy. So again, using the brush to pat down the product, level it up, make it really smooth. And once 
done then we go for the second bead again here i did not speed up the video so that you all can understand how uh, we work with acrylic uh, how we apply the beads one by one okay now i have second bead placed it moving it side to side and then uh, blending it with the brush and making sure that the product is not getting onto the skin and even if it touches the skin uh, skin then you use your brush to clean those corners make sure the, there is no product uh, uh, touching the skin at all now the third bead and if you notice whenever i am applying the cuticle product the fingers are literally pointing downwards because the gravity will pull the products down not towards the skin okay so hand holding position is also important here so we applied the uh, cuticle bead made sure that we have a nice thick apex because the center part of the nail should be thicker where the center part will have more product uh, cuticle and the free edge will have less product okay that is the overall architecture of the nail so we have done with the product application for all 10 fingers and as you can see this is how our nails look like before filing so you can see how clean the application is and this will make our filing shaping job so easier okay so for filing shaping again i am using hand file here so i am using a 100 180 grit hand file so first I did was just uh, you know uh, <coughs> clean the side walls and the free edge and whenever you are use your filing and shaping make sure you have your mask on so uh, that's what I was doing and then just hold the fingers like this start the filing from one corner go all the way to the first half side of the nail and then turn the finger hold it from the top side and then you can file towards the center from the other side and then just blend it and it's very easy for filing when you have like a perfect application okay if you wish to learn all these techniques one by one then you can join our classes we offer classes online and offline so all the classes are one on one uh, so you get like full attention and we will learn each and every single step of this extension process throughout the classes so we have different class option basics advanced professional and then level 2 where you do uh, you know uh, uh, ombre encapsulation etc etc that is like uh, for people who have experience but for beginners we have beginner uh, uh, basic classes advanced classes and professional level classes so we teach all types of extensions um, so if you are interested you can get in touch with me via instagram uh, at the rate anna nail school or you can also reach me via the whatsapp number given in the description box so coming back to the video now that we did complete all the filing and shaping so i'm just quickly doing some nail art design so this is basically a little bit of a bridal inspired nail design because this is what uh, mostly people uh, prefer for a bridal one because it's simple but it has a lot of elements going on fringe and then some lines and some glitters and stuff like that so here i'm adding uh, some fairy glitters and then i'm going to cure it so i used white gel paint to do the um, uh, french tip and for the uh, index fingers and thumb fingers i used some glitters to do like a glitter ombre so i added the glitter uh, here i'm using an ombre brush to spread the glitters towards the center so if you see the edges we have thick glitter and then eventually i'm spreading the extra towards the center and creating like a faded glitter effect once this is done then you can cure it and then after curing it you can add top coat and seal your design so this is very pretty easy designs and it's very simple elegant and if you are looking for something simple for your wedding and all then this is something that you can try okay so with that uh, the video ends here i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you learned at least something uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, turn on the notification so that you get all the uh, you know notification when we upload a new video and don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section like this video share with your friends okay so um this is the final look and i really loved it so i hope you guys also loved it i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy and thank you for watching